Good morning and welcome to my office. I hope that you are well this morning. Today I want to read just a couple verses from Matthew 5. Very popular verses. 5 verse 13. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. You are called to be salt and light. So let's quickly look at that this morning. Salt has many great properties. I know our culture would like to tell us that salt is bad. Sure, table salt, not so good for you, but real salt is good for you. Your body needs it to survive. The body, people, the body need salt to survive and to thrive. And one important thing about salt, there's lots of them, you can go ahead and study it, it's amazing. But one of them is to preserve. You are called to preserve righteousness, peace, and joy and many other things but I want to encourage you be salt and preserve around you in your own life but in your sphere of influence preserve righteousness peace and joy be the salt to the people around you then there's light you are also called to be light you are called to bring hope to bring direction to bring a way to see truth in a situation to be light to the people around you so my friends on this amazing day, be salt and be light. Preserve righteousness, peace, and joy, and bring hope and direction and the light of God into situations. And in everything, do it in love. So, on this amazing, amazingly bright and tasty day, be the salt and light to the people around you and shine the love of Jesus wherever you go. Have an amazing day and God bless.